Busia County. With a population of about 800,000 people, Busia County straddles the Kenya-Uganda border from Malaba border in the north to Marenga Beach along Lake Victoria to the south. The seven sub-counties, namely Matayos, Nambale, Teso South, Teso North, Butula, Funyula, and Budalangi make the larger Busia County. Though a cosmopolitan county, it is predominantly inhabited by the Luya sub-tribes of Bakayo, Samia, Marachi, Abanyala, and the Iteso occupy the northern part of the county. A strategically located county, Busia boasts of two major border towns of Busia and Malaba, which are both economic and trade herbs. Other entry and exit point include Marenga and Bukoma through Lake Victoria and Muluanda border points which connect Kenya to the rest of East and Central Africa. The county administrative headquarters are in Busia town. The governor, Sospita Ojamong, has a vision of turning all the seven sub-counties into the breadbasket and economic herb of the Kenyan Western Belt. We have so many opportunities in Busia County which people can come and exploit. And in so doing, they will be creating employment for our people in the county. Because the government is not able to create jobs at the pace at which the, our population is rising. So generally, Busia County is a county which has a lot of potential. As an international gateway, the county enjoys cross-border trade with Uganda thanks to the 24-hour customs operations. To boost trade and movement of goods and people, the county government is consolidating operations into a one-stop shop to ease processing of documents. It has also installed solar streetlights aimed at actualizing a 24-hour economy. The presence of several financial institutions, both local and international, banks and other financial institutions, is a clear indicator of the cash flow and trade activities and opportunities around the county. You, you will recall that um, Uganda still presents itself as a huge destination of Kenyan export. And the uh, majority of the products that are actually going to Uganda as an export destination for Kenya are manufactured goods, manufactured goods which are done uh, in other parts of the country. So considering the logistics of transport and everything, Busia still presents a big opportunity for warehousing, a big opportunity for establishment of uh, factories and industries that are targeting the East and Central Africa. We have business, business people coming from Uganda, Rwanda, Sudan and all those. So it's a very active border and it is an asset for the people of Busia County in that we can have so many businesses set up here, warehousing, we can have the dry port here, we can have good hotels whereby people can be resting as they transit, we, and so many other opportunities see, that you can have in the, a lot, that you can associate with a border, an active border point. agriculture, endowed with acres upon acres of arable land and good rainfall patterns, Busia County offers a very rich environment for large-scale farming. Cassava, millet, beans, maize and sweet potatoes have for a long time been the staple for many residents of the county. Cotton, sugar, papyrus, sorghum and bananas are the main cash crops cultivated in the region. The construction of Busia Sugar Factory at Busibuayo Matayo's sub-county is one of the biggest large-scale investments in the production of sugar in the county. The Magombe Rice Scheme in the plains of Bunyala is another potentially life-changing enterprise that can do with serious injection of new capital and investment. Sugar and rice can easily be the large-scale crops out of Busia County with a waiting market in the Comesa region.
Busia County can also feed its population with fish from the vast waters of Lake Victoria. This is a potential multi-million business opportunity if well harnessed. With the International Airport in Kisumu, there can never be enough cold storage plants to hold the amount of fish coming out of the lake. Tourism. The county boasts of some of the best natural resources in Kenya. For holiday makers, campers and trekkers, Busia County offers an array of flora, fauna and Africa's largest lake. The high potential for tourism remains untapped. The rolling hills of Samia, Amukura and Chelelemuk, the famous Kavirondo rocks in Emakina and Emuhuyu, in Nambale and Lugulu and Butula are marvels of nature. Kakapel National Monument is one of the key attraction sites located in the northern part of Teso, blended with historical and spectacular caves and rock art paintings that date back 4,000 years. The panoramic views of the lake washing across the islands and hilly landscape, the beautiful beaches and lagoons cry out for development. And uh, we, we just uh, finished uh, last month the report of the tourism market for the whole county, which uh, points out the opportunities that we have. It has identified our rich culture, uh, traditional dances, from the Iteso to the Luyas of the Melani uh, down south. It has identified natural features like Kakapel, uh, Lake Victoria, uh, stretch we have within the Busia County and the islands. And now these are the opportunities that we want to work closely with KTB to market them because KTB is charged with the responsibility of marketing Kenya outside there as a tourist destination. So we want to invite them to identify out of the mapping that we have done at least three to four products that we can develop and market globally to attract the visitors to. When we say, for example, that Kenya is a tourist destination, and when we are trying to develop East Africa as a tourist destination, as one market for tourists to come in, then Busia, being right there on the border, and having two key entry points into Uganda, and thereby into the greater the Great Lakes region can be poised to benefit from that. We, we have a uh, place like Port Victoria. In any city in Europe, you'll find that uh, the cities which are on the lake or which are on the ocean, they yet develop because of that natural resource. Now we have the caves of uh, North Teso, and in those caves we have paintings which uh, have been estimated to be 4,000 years old. And when, let me tell you, when Amuzungu here has said something somewhere uh, which was done 4,000 years ago, they become very attracted to go and see it for themselves. Five-star hotels, hamlets and resorts could offer not only exclusive accommodation, but also one of the most serene environments known to man. Sports such as fishing, boat racing, canoeing and kayaking would find a home here. trade and commerce. The volume of human traffic transiting through Busia town has grown tenfold and with it trade and commerce. With increased flow of travelers crossing the border, the hospitality industry is growing day by day, opening up opportunities for more investments. With the ongoing infrastructure development and expansion of the town by the county government, the opportunities are diversified, especially in the area of ICT. The population boom in the county also means increased demand for services like education. While the county government is striving to put up more public schools, it is obvious there is a need for partnering with the private investors to put up more learning institutions to meet the increased demand. So far, we have managed to disperse bursaries totaling to more than 100 million to the residents 
of Busiari. We are calling upon investors to assist us to improve the quality of education in the county by putting up high cost secondary schools, primary schools, and private universities. Busia County has produced some of the most prominent scholars in Kenya, the first cardiologist in sub-Saharan Africa, the late Professor Hilary Ojiambo, calls Busia home. So does Professor Arthur Obel, a top medical researcher, and Harvard professor Callistus Juma. The longest-serving attorney general in Kenya, now Senator Amos Wako, is a native son. Other prominent sons, especially in sports, are international sports personalities in the field of soccer, boxing, music and rugby. The English Premier League Southampton star Victor Wanyama, former Inter Milan midfielder McDonald Mariga and Olympic Walter Wade boxing gold medalist Robert Napuni Wangila. Apart from the talent inherent in the county, Busia has a very hard-working and energetic population. Its people are its asset. We also have a very rich uh, human resource uh, potential. We are one of the communities that embraced education in very early years, the pre-independence days. And we have also uh, a number of schools that uh, continue to churn out uh, boys and girls. This human resource has to be tapped to be able to make Lucia a better place. Cosmopolitan, exposed and very hospitable, they offer a ready pool for both skilled and unskilled human resource. Health. The sector has seen the county government initiate health projects as flagship projects aimed at improving the health status of its people. This has been and can be seen through the construction of a modern health facility at the Busia Referral Hospital, as well as the setting up of a medical training college. With the high influx of the cross-border population, the need for a diagnostic facility is increasing, with the health department focusing to place Busia as a destination for health tourism. The county government has ensured supply of medical facilities and personnel is done in all the hospitals and other health facilities in the sub-counties, coupled with the availability of state-of-the-art ambulances to improve on service delivery. Our mothers used to be uh, ferried uh, by an, um, an, an cooth methods to the health facilities to be delivered. Things like wheelbarrows, mugotenis and other uh, available modes of transport. So we decided to address that issue urgently by the procurement of ambulances and we did buy seven ambulances and uh, deployed them one per sub county so that uh, mothers who require that service as an emergency can be able to be provided with that service. But in the short term, if we can be able to get an investor who can come and help us build a state-of-the-art facility and help us run it, then of course we shall be able to attract clients even from as far as Uganda, uh, Rwanda and even Burundi. We hope such an investor can be found uh, sooner than later. I would like to assure the people of Busia that our projects are flagship projects which we are dedicated and committed to making sure they become a reality and transform uh, the health indices in this county. Roads. As a part of realization of devolved governments, the county government of Busia has greatly improved the road network and infrastructure that was previously dilapidated. With the acquisition of roads equipment and the recruitment of skilled manpower, the interconnectivity across the county has improved, though to achieve the dream of tarmacking most roads, public-private partnership is thus needed. Plans are also underway to look for an investor to put up an airport in Busia, which is deemed to serve western parts of Kenya and in eastern Uganda. Basically so far we've been able to repair close to 600 kilometers of roads and uh, in terms of opening up of new roads we've been able to do over 200 kilometers of roads and we've been able to routinely maintain close to 1,000 kilometers of roads using our own equipment. 
So the transport sector basically in air transport, there have been a missing link and we anticipate that soon we shall be working towards opening up an airport, constructing and opening up an airport to open up this region to a lot of developments. The county government through the assembly has designed accommodative policies and legislations that give conducive investment environment for the potential investors, both local and international. At the assembly, the assembly we have put every legal framework in place to have fair play for everybody, so that whoever puts their money here, you can be guaranteed that this is the county where there is proper legislation and an assembly we are guaranteeing you that you get fair play for everybody. We are creating a platform for investor partnership. And we have gone a step further by creating uh, an investment uh, policy, a county investment policy document, so as to ensure there's a level uh, playing ground for both local and foreign investors. To achieve the Vision 2030 goals, the county government has rolled out a strategic plan, the County Integrated Development Plan, CIDP, of 2013-2017, which is in line with those of Vision 2030 to align itself to the national agenda. The investment conference is just but one of the platforms. But I'm a great believer that the duty of government is to deal with matters in infrastructure. But the difference between all these counties shall rise, shall stand upon which county shall attract the most investors. And just like any great economy anywhere in the world, the men and women who are sitting here, you hold the future of this county in your hands. Because it's only by private investors partnering up with the people of Busia, partnering up with the government of Busia, that we shall grow this economy in leaps and bounds. We encourage you to seriously take this event and ensure that you invest in our county and we assure you of total support from the county government and leadership. We shall protect your investments. I uh, wish to reiterate to the investors here that yes, the leadership of Sierra County, our clarion call slogan is United for Development. We, the leadership of Sierra County, we have opted to unite our people and foster development in our county. By the mere fact that you have come and you are here, I count you as a friend of Busia County. I count you as a partner in development of Busia County. Uh, open your eyes, look what's available and come. If you can, after this conference, also invite others of your partners and colleagues to come and invest in Busia, this conference would have succeeded. The legendary hospitality of the people of Busia, the rich natural resources and vast land capital, coupled with the county government development strategy, gives Busia an edge over many other counties in Kenya. All that is needed are partners to invest in these areas so that we can truly proclaim we are united for development.